Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day four. Oh, happy 4th of July for those of you who celebrate the 4th of July or in um, America, uh, <laughs> Independence Day. Uh, it's technically still actually the dirt here you know, uh, when I'm doing it, but you know, all this other good stuff. Hope everyone's having a good, good, um, you know, everything. Today's bomb is 137, single number two. Uh, all right, which one is this? So, given. In the way nouns where every element appears three times except for one, which appears at exactly once, find a single element and return it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I I think this is one of those problems. I, I I don't remember if this is true, but maybe this is some variation of this. I think this is one of those problems that for a long. I think the first time I did it, I was I. I, it took me a long time. Uh, I think I probably have a YouTube video. And I did that, or maybe it was on Twitch, so maybe I don't have a YouTube video. But I, I, but I believe I did it on video, so maybe you could even find it. Uh, I did this or some variation of it, and it took forever. Um, yeah, uh, I think the core concept is kind of interesting, but it's also one-off. It's it's very similar to the the um, I don't know. I I, I don't. I, if you haven't, seen, and this is also one of those problems that, if you haven't seen it before, it is impossibly hard to be honest. Um, I mean, I I guess I did it, but but still, like it is ridiculously hard, right? Um, I think what I want to do is that maybe there's another way of doing it. I don't remember anymore to be honest. But the way that I always find interesting, uh, or at least the one that comes to my mind immediately, it doesn't come up that often for me to always find it. And you know do it this way per se but the, i think okay so let's step back a second sorry if i uh, kind of a little bit of a roundabout way of doing it my company's a little bit laggy i don't know why sorry friends i just want to make sure um but yeah but basically the the easier version of this and i don't even know if it's that much easier it's only easier if if um if you haven't seen it before, right? Um, and it's the XOR one. The XOR one is actually the thing that is basically a variation of this, except for every element appears twice, except for one number which appears once, right? The idea behind that one is using XOR, and XOR is kind of a... Um, yeah, the XOR is kind of a, um, a thing for it, which basically the idea behind it is that if you use if you find an operation that for a given number if you do it you, you want to find an operation or a function that when you do it twice it becomes zero right and XOR is that function is one of those function um you know you, uh, because if you XOR any number x and then you XOR it again it just becomes zero right so uh, or the original number, or how you want to say it, um, and this isn't all particularly true. I mean, you you may depend, you know, you may think of something similar, but not exactly, right? M meaning you could, if you add the number twice, well, you don't get the original number; you get some random number, and you don't have deconstruct it, um, and so forth, right? Um, you know, you may be thinking of like adding and then subtracting, which you know there is an inverse function, but. Uh, but of course, that's not quite what we're looking for. Right? We're trying to find a function that, you know, you do it twice, it leaves you with net zero in a way. Okay, so that, that is the variation for for two, two times except for once, right? So using that core idea, um, what you want to do is basically try to figure out uh, a function which if you do it three times, it reverts to zero, right? And the, uh, I, 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 we may, you know, we might look up the tutorial or something like this afterwards. Maybe there's another way. But the way that I'm thinking of is basically the same idea, but a little bit different, right? Uh, well, obviously, um, because X all won't work. And um, I, I remember spending so long on this. Uh, or either this or something very similar than this, right? Which is that, which is that, um, 
Yeah, you run a function that if you call it three times, you go back to zero. And the way that you, I, I would think about it is, you know, um, so if you think about the XOR analog, like an analogy of the XOR, um, you know, an XOR is a bitwise function. A bitwise function operates on each uh, thing independently, uh, each digit, binary digit in this case, independently. And the way that that is important is because then now you can prove it for each bit, right? Um, and what I mean by that is that it allows you to kind of, um, how do I say this? It allows you to, um, it allows you to simplify the question or the problem, right? I think that's maybe the, the, the part that I'm interested in. And what I mean by that is that you can create a truth table, right? Because now you can say, okay, well, if we start with zero, we, do, 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 you can say that, you know, uh, and then this goes to zero. Duh, 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 duh. You know, it, basically what I'm saying is f of f of zero is equal to zero, and f of f of one is equal to one, right? No matter what the 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 numbers are. So that's basically the idea. And here, what we want to do is the same thing, but three times, right? And the way, and it's just easier to to figure out because now the the universe is smaller. You don't have to do like math on some weird big number, right? Uh, or in terms of proofs. So the way that I think about this one, <laughs> maybe I've been spending a long time just kind of setting up the, the foundation of how to think about it because what, um, because while like, I, I think one thing that, I mean, there's no doubt, well, okay, maybe there's some doubt because I, I think people say I forget things a lot, which is true. Um, but, you know, I think there is this thing where, you know, you try to memorize all these solutions and all these things. Um, and for me, it's not that I memorize this per se, it's that I remember the concept. And once you kind of understood the concept and use it as a problem solving technique, you can kind of bring it up from time to time. And in, in competitive programming, maybe less so on interviews, it's it's the um, aggregation, if you will, the summation of all these little pieces that fragments that kind of uh, constitute your rating, right? Um, like the last Q3 or the last contest, um, I was just out of shape, even though I, I knew how to do it. And that's, you know, going to cause me a lot of rating, for example, right? Anyway, so the idea here is that for me, the one that jumped right off the, the bat even though it took me about seven minutes to go over it or eight minutes to get here, is that we want to use, instead of using a binary bit, we use a ternary number instead, right? Uh, or a base three number. Maybe that's the right. Uh, yeah. Because basically now base three a number, now we have three digits, right? Zero, one, and two. Or for each digit, there's three possibilities, right? Um, Zero, one, 1, and 2. And basically, the idea is that if we think of it this way and we do a sort of a digit by digit sum, then what happens, right? My, uh, let's say we just add it, but mod it by 3 afterwards, right? Well, this becomes 0, 0, 0, right? So, I mean, that that's obvious. This goes to 2, then goes to 3, and then goes to 0. Right, so if you do it three times, then uh, oh, this is actually zero. Whoops, sorry. I'm telling you, this is one, right? Uh, I have an idea. So basically, the idea is that if you if a number appears three times, then everything cancels out and has no impact on the final answer. And that's basically really the, the way to do it, uh, to do this problem. So if I kind of, kind of went a little bit long on the explanation, my computer is also a little bit slow, so definitely let me know if there's some weirdness going on. But why is computer computer so and so slow? I'm not even running anything. All right, well, hopefully this is recording. If this is not recording, then uh, I don't know what to say. But my... Huh. What is my computer running? Hmm. Sorry, give me a second. Doesn't seem like it is a CPU is doing anything. Huh. That's weird. Okay. Maybe it's just Firefox thing stuff. Yeah, that's why. Oh, fuck. Alright, there we go. 
I think I was just running low on memory. Okay. So that's basically the idea, and once we do that, then let's uh, let's get to it, right? So basically, now we're converting to a base three number, and then adding it bit by bit. Or what's a bit in base three? Hmm. A base three bit, if you will. So, I don't know. Leave, leave it. Let me know in the comments the the right terminology. Uh, the, I was going to say t-bit, but that doesn't really sound right either. Okay, anyway, uh, yeah, so for x in nums, we, so let's just say maybe we, you know, uh, you could do this math in a, in a slightly better way, but, but I'm just going to, um, yeah, I'm just going to break it down into a thing. So let's just say sum, uh, total is equal to do, 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 times, uh, I don't know how many, like two to, like three to the x is equal to two to the dirty first. Oh, that's negative numbers, huh? What do we do with negative numbers? I actually didn't consider it. Uh, I mean, we could. I mean, eh. mm, how do I want to do negative numbers? I mean, we can just uh, just do an if statement for now. Um, there's pro maybe a cleaner way of handling it, with like, uh, uh, like with the idea of two's complement kind of thing. Um, you know, two's complement is for um, for binary numbers, obviously. So we can maybe do something with ternary number, but eh, but that's like you know. Maybe that's for another time. That's too much thinking for me. Uh, I don't know how, how big this is. Let's just say it's dirty, right? Something like this, right? So then now for the. Uh, maybe just, that's quite max then. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, set it to the correct array, and then now nah, and x is equal to negative x, and then we just do you know um, uh, current sub i is equal to x mod three, and then we shift right, and that's pretty much it. Oh wait wait wait, uh, so then we want to it's equal to um, we add this, and then we want to mod it by three as well. So uh, I guess we could just shift this like this, right? Uh, and at the end, we should have the answer, either in total or negative total. So yeah, we just kind of put it back together. Um, do, 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 do. If and the answer may be to zero, I guess, which would be very funky to be honest. I guess that's possible. Hmm. Yeah, okay. If sum of negative total is uh, is greater than zero, then uh, we turn uh, basically uh, was that we uh, build something like this, right? We'll we'll, we'll build the helper. Um, uh, and this is a way, and the least significant. B so we'll just pop off the right, right? So, yeah. Um, oops. Uh, I can't, I don't know if you could see it, my type lag. I guess that's it is what it is. Oh, and this should be negative, maybe. Huh. Need to restart my computer or something, maybe. Huh. Am I running some like random script in the background? It doesn't seem like it. I think it's just Firefox being open for too long. Okay, uh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
shift and add and we should be good unless I have a typo which is very very possible uh, let's play around negative numbers it doesn't seem like that's in it so yeah Uh, it looks okay, so let's give it a submit. Still possible that I have a silly mistake, but uh, eleven ninety day streak, so that's pretty good. Huh, got wrong answer previously. Is it because I don't have negative numbers? Hmm. What did I do last time? Oh, I did something clever with that time with negative numbers, but I just forgot about negative numbers that time. Um. And I forgot about negative numbers that time too, so I'm amazed that this time I remember the negative number. Um, but though in both cases, I guess we just count the number of negative numbers. I guess that was good enough. Um, this time I kind of just kept them track. I guess the clever thing was to keep track of number of negative numbers and see if it was one or one or zero, or you know, multiple of threes or whatever. Um, cool. I mean, so what is extra space? Right? We we really only use max extra space which is dirty i mean it doesn't even go up to dirty to be honest um it, it's just i was too lazy to do the math uh but yeah so this is linear time constant space um uh, linear ish right because it's it based is log of the size of the uh, range of numbers which i guess is constant but depends on how you want to say it uh but yeah uh that's all i have for this one let me know what you think Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.